Good morning, everybody. Got a nice early Christmas present wrapped up on my trailer behind me. I'm gonna head on down to Minnesota with this. I'm gonna need a haircut again soon. It's getting long. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be a warm one again today, but luckily enough, we got loaded really early before the heat of the day began. So now we're gonna run down. I'm in uh, Ontario right now, Western Ontario, close to Manitoba, a town called Kenora. So we make videos every day. I'm on video, what is this, 3,150, somewhere around there. Over 3,100 videos in this series. There's a whole bunch of videos before this series yet. If you wanna go to my playlist on my channel, make sure you subscribe. We make new videos all the time of life on the road in North America, Canada, and the United States. Okay, well I need to get going here. Let's get on the road. Not sure if I mentioned it at the beginning of this video or not, but we're taking this freight from Kenora down to Brainerd, Minnesota. A regular run for us. I really like it. It's, uh, it's a good run to have. After we're done in Brainerd, um, headed to Duluth, Minnesota. I've got a load waiting there for me. It's going to be ready in the morning. So we'll get this freight unloaded today. I'll be down in Brainerd in about six hours. Get unloaded, get my tarps rolled up, my equipment put away. Then we're going to run over to Duluth, which is about two hours from there. I'm going to sleep right there at the shipper. First thing in the morning, you can throw the freight on me. And I'll be back at our yard in Manitoba tomorrow afternoon, evening. We'll probably find out tomorrow then what's going on the next day. So far the week is off to a bang, off to a good start. We're a better start than last week. Last week was so slow hoping that this week will be a little bit uh, a little busier for us. Pizza Hut in. Like an actual Pizza Hut. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I apologize. People in Fort Francis, you'll get it. I showed a 
the ones before. The new Pizza Hut there, if you didn't see it on the left, you can either rewind and check it out. If not, it's just like a, a square box, a square warehouse building. So this is the border town. From here we cross into International Falls, Minnesota. Been through here many, many, many times already, and a lot of you have come through here many times with me. Have any of you gone through here yourselves? Let me know down below. There's a lot of the Americans. Kilometer, slight right on Trans Canada Highway, Highway 11. A lot of Americans that come up north here to fish. But if you are coming up north, there's a toll bridge getting onto the Canadian side. It's free to go south. They charge you to go north. I always cross at Rainy River in Baudet, which is a little further east, or pretty west from here. There's no tolls that way. If I have a choice between paying the toll man and not paying the toll man, I will pay. Slide right on. Karen, I'm trying to tell the highway. story. You should just interrupt me. You guys know what I was going to say. Right in 410 meters. You knew what I was going to say. I don't like paying tolls.
lot has happened. <laughs> this is a rushed day. A rushed, rushed day. Oh, it's humid out here. Man, it's been kind of sprinkling all day today. I'm in Duluth, Minnesota now. So a lot has happened. I apologize. I skipped, skipped a bunch. Getting stuff done, working hard. So we delivered that freight into Brainerd, Minnesota. It's gone. I didn't want it anymore. It was weighing me down. It was heavy. Didn't want it on my back anymore. So left it in Brainerd there with the right people. So now that my trailer's empty, I came here to put some new stuff on it. Out with the old and with the new. And it's been kind of drizzling all day on the way here from Brainerd. It was about a two hour drive. And uh, my dad is driving uh, through Minneapolis right now, I believe. And he had just sent us uh, some footage of what he's looking at around there. And it's a massive, like, electrical thunderstorm there. It's a crazy thunderstorm, pouring rain. And that is, uh, well, I'm in Duluth, Minnesota, which is on the northeast side of the state. So Minneapolis is a few hours down that way. So I don't know if that weather's coming here or not. But I wouldn't mind, because I don't mind sleeping in the rain. The rain falling on the truck, it always just soothes me. Puts me to sleep. Plus, you can just crack the windows just a bit and get that fresh rain smell. Well, that's what I'm getting right now as well. Fresh smell of the rain. And yeah, so here we are. That's another one of our guys up there. He was also in Kenora this morning. Now, we both loaded this morning. He got loaded before me, obviously, because he got here before me. And he delivered in Brainerd as well. I didn't see him all the way down, though. I saw him first thing this morning. As soon as he was loaded, he was gone. And now he's here again. So we obviously had the same plan for today. So we're going to load here in the morning. And park right behind him. There's the gate. Got to wait for those arms to come up on those gates over there. And they get here, I believe, at 6.30. I'll be up at just before 6, ready to go. So that when he rolls in, I can uh, come in right behind him. Because if you're not on the ball, other people will come in and they'll just blow right past you. As if they didn't even see you waiting here in line. That happened to me once. Uh, not the last time I was here. It was last year sometime. I think it was in winter. I had spent the night right here. I've, I've come here several times before. And I spent the night right there. And uh, I woke up in the morning to the sound of a truck going past me. I was like, oh, what's that? So I woke up, and no kidding, someone saw me in line here, and instead of getting behind me in line, blew past me, and that gate wasn't closed at that time then. It didn't close them, but we're not supposed to go through there till I think, 6.30. It's either 6 or 6 or 6.30. But anyways, yeah, he blew past me, and I got him on the radio. I said, oh, excuse me, um, I was in line. I've been here for like 12 hours waiting. <laughs> he was a nice guy, though. He uh, came back around and let me go in front of him. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's why I say, gotta be up in the morning, be ready to go. You snooze, you lose. He'll get loaded before me. So if it is 6.30, is it 6 or is it 6.30? I'm pretty sure it's 6.30. So it's 6.30, he'll go around there, get loaded. He'll be out of here by like 7, I'm sure. So I'll start getting loaded by like 7.15. Be out of here by 7.45, 8. And then I have a second pickup in Hibbins, Minnesota. Just a little northeast of here, or northwest of here. And then from there, uh, we just go back to our yard. So I'll be, I should be back in our yard tomorrow evening. That's what I'm thinking in Grand Point. It was a good day. It was a really good day. 